Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Magbamiloye, aka G Mikey, and today we will be talking about that controversial question, should Christians go for reality shows? Let's get into it. It's J J Mikey. First of all, let me just add that uh, if you think that we're going to be talking about reality shows like uh, The Big Brother, then you need to go see your pastor. This is not the video for you. You need help. Okay, so let's jump into the topic. The reality shows we're talking about are most likely things like singing competitions, uh, talent shows, especially singing. So we're talking about singing competitions. Should Christians go for such competitions? That's what we want to talk about today. First of all, let me first say that it is not a sin for Christians to go for um, reality shows. If someone comes up to you and say that it's a sin, then it's most likely wrong. There's no passage that talks about the fact that thou shalt not go for singing competitions. However, there are a few questions that you must ask yourself before you go for these competitions, and that's probably what we're going to highlight in today's episode. The first question is, what is the theme of the reality show? What is the concept? What is the purpose of this reality show? So you need to look at the ideology behind the reality show. Is the reality show something that is meant to show off? Is it meant to glorify something other than uh, God? Philippians chapter 4 verses 8 says that whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if any is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. So definitely you need to look at that passage in reference to the kind of reality show that you are going for. Is it good? Is it noble? Is it praiseworthy? Is it excellent? Etc. 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 Then something else you need to look out for are the kinds of songs that they make people sing. Are they songs that do not glorify God? Are they songs that promote the things that we talked about are the characteristics of worldly songs? If you've not seen that video, you can always click on the link in the description to watch gospel songs and worldly songs. Then the kinds of clothes that they make you wear, the kinds of music they make you sing, etc etc then you also need to look at who are those sponsoring these kinds of shows for example if you want to go for a reality show and the people sponsoring it are probably a beer company or an alcohol company or a cigarette company or a strip club company and then they are the sponsors behind the particular show i think you need to be wise enough to know that you shouldn't be in that kind of show uh, the second thing you need to look at when you are considering reality shows are uh, number two what is the intention of you as a believer for going there if your intention is to show off your gifts to receive praises from people technically that's a form of pride because you want to show off something to receive praises and uh, which is not the true intention of the gift that god has given to you and if it's to make money then i feel you are undermining the true reason why god has given you the gift because the bible says that we should seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all of that things shall be added unto us so if you are going somewhere for the aim of that all other things rather than the glory of god then i think you need to check properly before you take such steps so if the gift is to i mean if you're going there because you want to make money then you need to think about the fact that music drama and spoken word are not just ordinary kinds of gifts they are message driven gifts and what do i mean by that these are gifts that always carry a message someone knows how to make a chair someone knows how to fix things like engineering building etc uh, animation whatever it is those are basic skills those are basic skill sets that don't necessarily carry a message but when you're talking about spoken word when you're talking about music when you're talking about drama these are message driven gifts and the kind of message that you carry when you're performing these talents are very very important so if you are performing these things and the message it carries doesn't glorify god and you are carrying that message in your performance because of the money you are going to make then you need to be very careful you need to look into that very very critically so the third thing you need to look at is the lifestyle of past winners of that competition has their lifestyle improved in ways that please god have they actually become better christians after passing through all that experience if no then i think you need to look out you need to be careful so the number four question you need to ask yourself is does that show allow you to perform your duties as a believer does it allow you to bring souls to win souls for christ does it improve your relationship with god or your work with god if not then you really need to be careful about such shows so some people might ask the question that aren't we supposed to as believers take the gospel to to the core of the world to the midst of the unbelievers how do we win unbelievers if we don't go into their midst and preach the gospel to them the answer i'm going to give to this is that truly god said we should go into the world and preach the gospel but wisdom is profitable first of all i'm going to ask you have you impacted your neighborhood have you impacted your society have you impacted your workplace have you preached to the people around you first of all be sure that god is actually sending you there 
before you go there because where god does not send you there there is a doubt that his presence is going to be there and that can be a big problem and then the last point under that is the fact that if you're going to go into the midst of unbelievers you want to go into the club to preach you want to go into maybe a strip club to preach you really know that you need to actually work on yourself a greater deal because now you're going into the core of immorality to win people to christ so how is your christian work how is your work with christ have you killed the flesh enough to be able to withstand whatever temptation you might face in the midst of such gatherings keep that in mind so there are some people that might say i'm going to go there i'm going to sing christian songs i'm going to go there and sing gospel songs and those gospel songs will probably touch somebody but then if you get there and then they say we don't want gospel songs sing this song uh go down low by so 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 and so what are you going to do are you going to say you're not going to sing or you're going to walk out of there these are the questions that you must think of critically you might say oh there is somebody that has gone there and sang christian songs like i said if god is the one sending you there good luck to you and the glory and grace of god will go with you but if god is not sending you there please do not attempt to feel that you must go there to show off some people might also say that the gift of god makes a way for you and such reality shows can be a way for you to make money my brothers and sisters we don't have to limit what god can do through someone and it doesn't have to be where we think all the time because you see someone going there and making an amount of money and then you feel that because you are also talented you can also go there and make a certain amount of money you actually don't know where god's blessings come from uh yes the gift of god makes a way for one but it's not always in ways that you think all right so you need to pray well think hard let the holy spirit guide you and truly 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 if that is where god's blessings are he's going to guide you and originally it is not you going there to make money it is going there because god has sent you there and that is seeking his kingdom and then the other things will be added so from everything i've said you can you can already take note that this is actually talking about secular reality shows we are hoping for more of gospel oriented reality shows because that is where we can be sure that it is safe for us we can be sure of some we are going to sing the way we are going to dress the theme of the whole thing we are hoping that we have more of such i've actually been to some over the past few years and it's been fantastic so do not limit yourself to the ones that you might see out there there are several reality shows that are being done in the body of christ all right so let's recap everything that has been said uh, number one going for talent reality shows is not a sin number two the theme and nature of the event must be put into consideration the theme and the nature of the event number three uh, if your motive is for the praises of man and for money you need to please have a rethink number four music drama and spoken word are sensitive gifts because they are message driven and as children of god every message that your talent or your gift must hold should be what glorifies God. And number five, if the aim is to win souls, be sure you've covered your immediate environment and be sure that God is instructing you to. Wisdom is profitable to direct. So let me know what you think down in the comments. All right. So your opinions, your likes and your subscription is going to be well appreciated. Until next time, I'll see you in another interesting vlog. My name is Joshua Mike Bamlu, AKG Mikey. Peace out.